What's up, little bros? You got Big Bro here. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you like the gems and troops I'm dropping. Small channel trying to grow it. If you're stopping by and you like the content, think about subscribing. I tell you the truths you need to hear, and I never tell you the lies that you want to hear. So, I had a whole show planned for today. You might want to turn your volume down because I'm about to spaz out on this video. I knew this was going to happen. I knew this was going to happen. Look, I knew this was going to happen. I've been screaming at the mountaintops and my long-term blockers know. I've been telling people, if you cannot pay cash for a car, do not take a loan out on it because I knew this was going to happen. I said people got stimulus money. They were going to buy cars. They were going to overpay for cars. Now, I'm going to put this link in the description of this article, and pretty much this article says you're stupid. It says people are stupid if you bought a car and you can't pay for it because subprime auto loans are at 10%. You're paying 10% for a car. Not only are you paying 10% for a car, you spent $29,000 on a Camry when you could have got it for $18,000 two years prior. Now you're paying 10% on the $29,000. And when the market comes down you crash that car, you're in the hole. That's how you go in debt for cars and you never get ahead. So what this article pretty much says is the average car payment is between $800 and $1,000. How are you ever going to build wealth with $800,000 car payment? The average new car was $50,000. Now, when these stupid YouTube influencers up here are talking about Tesla stock and Lucid stock and all the stocks that they're going to buy and Cardano and Bitcoin and Ethereum and cryptocurrencies, that means nothing in the poor black and brown and white communities. Sorry to break that to you, Larry Jones, but that does not matter. They can't even put food on the table and most of them don't even have cars and the wealthy people are not listening to you. I don't mean to break that to you, but when you come to the table or, or, or you come to your desk, everybody clap your hands. Hey, everybody. I have my good people. How you doing? How you doing? Sorry if I sound under the weather. I stubbed my big toe last night, so I can't get my gator on my foot. So uh, I just want to tell all you people out there, hey, how you doing there? How you doing there? Shucky ducky, my man Shucky. Thank you for checking in, everybody, everybody, everybody. Okay, I'm going to show the opening bell. And what we gonna talk about, hold on, let me see if I can get this to work. I'm going to talk about this, and then and then uh, here's the opening bell. And I'm going to tell you how Neo uh, could be... Uh, a really good long term. I'm not telling you where to buy the shell because I'm not a financial, you know, I'm a musician. I used to play the bass. Doom, do, 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 do. And then I became, you know, a YouTube financial guy. Oh, yeah, I'm spazzing today, baby. I don't, I don't care. I don't care anymore because I knew this was going to happen. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, if my YouTube channel gets shut down, I still have a pension, a career, CDL with hazmat tanker, uh, doubles, triples. I can, I, if, if I lost my job, would it suck? Yeah. But guess what? I still got money and I have uh, a career and I have uh, skills that I could do to work other places. This is why I say you need to learn a skill. All right. Now, Keenan Grace. I hope he wasn't a teacher. Please, I hope he wasn't a teacher because he doesn't even understand math. Let me break some math down to you. There's two scenarios that happen. He likes to say, say if you're up with the stop losses and the puts and I tell you the resistance levels and then say you have $500, ladies and gentlemen. Let me show you math. Say you have $500, right? And you get $500. Winning $500 in the stock market is different than getting $500 on a slot machine. Here's why. You win $500 on a slot machine, you can cash out at the window, at the machine, you're done, done deal, you're gone. You get $500 profit in the stock market, oh yeah, you gotta pay taxes on that because that's a short term, all right? That's a short term quick play or quick flip B, as they like to say. Now, now say you have $500 and you happen to use his Discord advice that I know doesn't work, and you make five hundred dollars. You're at a thousand dollars, right? Say you say you take your five hundred dollars out, and you gamble with house money. You're going to be more taking more riskier bets because that's just human psychology. You're going to be more riskier because you're going to say, even if I lose, I still got the five hundred in my pocket. You're probably going to lose that, and then what do people most likely do? They reach in their pocket and they gamble the other five hundred, and now they're down. Now let's just say you're disciplined enough, and you do play with just house's money and you keep your 500 in your pocket and you lose all of house's money you're still down stupid because 
You got to pay taxes on that money. Yeah, that 500 house money that you won, baby boy, you got to pay. You have to pay taxes on that. So that 500 you have in your pocket, you better take some of that and set it aside for Uncle Sam so you're still down. This is why if you do happen to get lucky and win house money, you take it all out and you leave. But how many people could actually do that? On to the next. Chris Sane, too easy. Can't do it. Nope. He's, nope. Not even going to do it. Mommy Trader, she likes to put her own things that she made herself about how she made money. She ain't never make no money. She talks about her husband's money. I, you know what? She's on the right track, but no, stop. I, you know what? I'm not even talking about them. Let's talk about you. Let's talk about how people got credit card debt and car auto loan debt. Now, people in the comments, you can hate on me all you want. You can say my channel's a failure. Maybe. Maybe it is. But I don't think so, because if I get one great comment, which I did, and, and I get tons of great comments, I got a comment the other day. I'm not going to put their name out there. And they said, thank you. I checked the SSA.gov website. I have my 40 credits. Congratulations to you. You have enough to retire and you're good for Social Security. Here's another thing. That's the same person that asked me about, you know, he's celebrating his anniversary and he wanted to go to Aruba and what's the best time to go. So I am changing people's lives. It makes it all worth it. If I could change one person's life out of 10,000, it's worth it. Now, people up here, you need to be smart with your money. I knew people were going to blow stimulus money. I knew it. People cannot handle money when it's given to them. People can't even handle money when they work for it. How are they going to handle free money? I've been saying this. The first, you can't beat the banks. I'm sorry. You can't beat the banks. The banks are your biggest thugs out here. They will come to your front door, kick it in, take everything you have and say, do something about it. We own the lawyers. We own the financial system. We own everything. Do something. We own your lawyer. The only thing you can do is do business with him. And here's how you do business with him. You avoid him. You pay your items in full. If you do have a credit card, you pay it off in full every month. If you do buy a car, you have the money to pay for it in cash. They'll never mess with you. They'll actually, they won't even want to mess with you. They'll call you a deadbeat. They hate people like me. The banks hate people like me because they don't make no money on me. Now, I'll never ask you like these people. Ever. You'll never. You have my word. I will never ask you to buy a hoodie, a mug, a t-shirt, um, a discord. I'll never ask you to pay for a discord. If I do have a discord, it would be free. The only thing I would ever ask, and this is all I ever ask of my blockers, maybe in the future I'll start, maybe I'll start a Patreon. And the only thing I would ever ask for is this. If you get debt free and you're on track for financial freedom, you can thank your boy by donating $3 or whatever it is to buy me a coffee as a thank you, or you could buy me a burrito. You don't even have to do that. You don't got to buy me a coffee. You don't got to buy me a burrito. But if I start a Patreon and you're debt free and you want to buy me a coffee or a burrito to say thank you, Blocker, Larry, you changed my life because of you, buy me a coffee or a burrito. I don't need uh, $10 a month. I don't need $20 a month. I don't need none of that. Just think about this. If they were really financially free and wealthy, why would they need your money every month? Me. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. If they were really comfortable, why do they need your money? I don't need your money. I'm going to be good. See, that's being financially free, not being dependent on anybody. That's free. How are they free when they need your money on a Discord to show you something that you can get for free? Hey, the link is in the description. <laughs> Yo, houses are next, people. Oh, yeah, houses are next. People overpaid for houses. They're next. I'll put the link in the description. No regrets. Have a great day.